Lynch's recommendation in that memorandum from Massey. Can you talk about the, the seeming conflict that the company has brought up that under inch order ventilation change, that less air was flowing across that face than the company's original plan and the wisdom of that type of change? If MSHA itself had ordered more air on the face to help mediate those outbreaks. We would look at, we are looking at the question of the ventilation changes. We're looking at the whole ventilation system. Um, I think to suggest, as some um, have done uh, in the media, that it is a, a simple matter of uh, applying more air to the face, applying more air to the face in this instance, uh, oversimplifies the problem uh, because you've got such a complex mine a ventilation system. You've got 12 miles of uh, ventilation problems and that there are other problems that come into play. So I'm not prepared to say yes or no, but I am prepared to say as we're looking at examining that question. Hey, we're going to take a couple more questions. Uh, we'll wrap up. Okay. I have not seen any public uh, reports to that effect and would have no comment. Yes, sir. Um, would it be correct to say you think that the, the, the tree light in the general areas where the explosion might have been from the long wall, I think it comes to the building, it comes to the building. And if that's correct, I would give us a lot of not being the scope of potential ignition sources that you all would be investigating to try to narrow it down. The, uh, I think your assertion is uh, fair that there are, there are three, three areas that one have uh, inclination to suggest might be, uh, uh, might be possible sources of that. Uh, first of all, you shouldn't exclude anything. You have to keep your open, uh, mind open, but, uh, but you do have a tendency to say, where is the, poss where is the likely uh, source of that? Uh, the second part of your question was whether or not uh, what, what are we doing to examine those? Those are obviously points of interest for us. As I mentioned yesterday, there was, the mapping team got across the long wall. There are efforts to go to 21, 22 head gate, 22 tail gate. Um, those efforts are uh, uh, high priorities for the teams. I know that the teams are, are anxious to get there because the, of the potential that those are areas where we would have the source of the ignition. Uh, so those have, have the priorities. Do, uh, In any, in, in any mine, um, the sources of ignition are limited but multiple. Uh, those can be uh, 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 machinery. Uh, those can be uh, machinery hitting rock, hitting uh, 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 sandstone or uh, pyrite in the rock, uh, which can cause an ignition source, can cause a spark. Uh, they can be um, uh, battery-powered equipment. They can be equipment that's in the intake air. Uh, that is uh, uh, it also can be a potential uh, source of explosion, uh, ignition, um, source of ignition. Uh, so we'd have to look at any of those, as well as we look at uh, all human, human potential human factors um, involved in in the mind. Did was there anything that an individual did, um, either on his machine or in person, uh, that could be a cause of the ignition source? Yes, sir. Well, we've, been, we've looked at those questions. We certainly looked at the above ground blasting and looked at the timing of that. It doesn't appear at this moment that the timing was, was close in, in, in point of time. Uh, whether it had other effect, one doesn't know. But I think the question is multiple scene mining, as is done in this instance, does that have any impact? And that has not been dismissed, but has been looked at and continues to be looked at from that standpoint that the glory hole, which is found up in the section right in here, 
as a was a ex exit hole to the mine above. Now it has been closed, but we look at that question of whether there was not whether there was any source of gas or any other source of potential ignition from that area, and that's one of the areas that we're looking at. Yes, sir. When uh, you said earlier, I may have missed it. You may have mentioned this. Uh, you said that uh, you were seeing things that uh, systematically needed to be corrected. When you said that, were you talking about industry-wide or just within Massey itself? No, I'm talking about industry-wide. We need the industry needs to look at themselves and look at the process, and, and we need to look at the the bundling uh, schemes that are in place in Australia where we get instant reads, readouts of systems, where we have uh, a computerized system that uh, the console operation in Moundsville that has a third party reading all of the data uh, instantaneously at that mine, uh, up there are 13 mines, and saying if there's a problem, a third party intervenes in that. All of those systems need to be looked at. Yes, sir. Have you or the investigating teams got a look at the crack of the board and tell the long haul and then looking at the possibility that an outburst from that area could have caused a spark this explosion? I don't know that there's a crack in the floor. Uh, it has been reported that uh, uh, that uh, Massey has been re reported that there was a crack in the floor and that came from the, the recovery team. Now, to put in mind how that, how you're operating, uh, the recovery team is in uh, full gear, so you're in apparatus. It's very dark, but very difficult to see. Their purpose in going underground is not to, to explore that, but to explore whether there are dangers or risks there, and they do that report. We got no report from the recovery team itself that there was any crack in the floor. Um, um, my, uh, my approach uh, is to, uh, when somebody makes a suggestion, is to say, that's a suggestion. We'll look at it. And that's all, all credit that we give it to. Will we examine whether it was a crack in the floor? You bet you sure we'll do that. Uh, but I wouldn't put any credence to any, uh, I mean, it's more like gossip than it is anything else. And I think that we need to be distinguishing with, between gossip and what facts are. And that's what we try to do. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks.